I'm going to show you the easiest way to add videos to your Next.js app. Wouldn't it be great to have a Next video component just like the Next image component that serves up optimized assets without causing layout shift? Well, the Next video component is going to do exactly that. This is from the Mox team. Mox is actually a provider, a hosting and streaming service provider for videos. I use it for all the videos that I have on my site for the Next.js course. Check it out if you haven't already. They have created this next video component. There's actually also an RFC open on Vercel. So I'm thinking that this is coming to the Next.js where just like the next image component, you're going to have a next video component where you can just serve up videos this time instead of images, optimized without the layout shift and all uh, the good things that we know and love from Next.js. So the first step is installing the next video package. Now on the left hand side, you can see I'm starting with a brand new Next.js application from the ground up. We're going to build this together. Uh, it's working with TypeScript and Tailwind CSS. If you want to know how I set up my Next.js applications and create a template so that I can use it in every project as a starter, I'm going to include a video link in the description or in the card somewhere for you to watch. So the first step is for us to add this next video package. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal here. I'm going to stop the dev server and I'm going to add this next video package. Now, once we do this, we have to run this init wizard. This init wizard, which is npx next video init, is going to actually go ahead and do a couple of things for us. First, if you haven't installed it, it's going to install the dependency for you. Then it's going to actually update your next config.js to use this package. It's going to update your types if you're using TypeScript. And it is going to also create a videos directory where you can host your videos locally, which is going to then be synced with your Mox account. So let's go ahead and clear this up and also run the init command. This is going to prompt you with some questions in how you want this to be uh, set up in your app. So the first question is what directory should next video use for videos? I'm going to use the videos. This is the selected uh, name. Is this a TypeScript project? I'm going to select yes. Should it update the TS config? Okay, um, I want to add the types. And now this is done. If I clear this up, you can see on the left that it has added this video folder to our application. Also inside of our package JSON, now we have this next video component added or to our dependencies. It also added some types to our TS config for TypeScript. Okay, so that was the first step. Now, the second step is to set up a remote storage. As I mentioned, you don't want to add your video files to your local project or to your Git repository or you would have bandwidth problems when you're deploying your project to any hosting platform such as Vercel. There's actually a guide from Vercel that talks about best practices when it comes to serving up videos. You can check that out on this link in the description or in the documentation. Now the next video component uses Mox by default. So you need to go ahead and create an account on mox.com. And once you have created an account, you can come to your dashboard and down here from the settings tab, you can click on this access token where you can create a new access token. Now back in the documentation, if you could see, we need to create an access token. We need a token ID and a secret to be able to talk to our Mox account. So going back to our dashboard, I'm going to generate a new key. I'm going to click the Mox video and say, let's say next video test. And then I'm going to generate this token. You're going to have to copy this ID. So let's just copy this first into our .env.local. So inside of my project, I'm going to create a .env.local file and I'm going to copy these two environment variables. Going back to my dashboard, I'm going to copy the ID. Now you're going to have to create your own access tokens because I will be deleting these after I am done recording this video. But just for the purpose of making this application work i do need to have my access token and also the secret key here so we have the token id and also the token secret so once this is done you can hit continue here now with these environment variables you can talk to your mox account going back to the documentation now the next step is to actually add a video to our local project and render it in our app so this is a two-step process First, we're going to add the video to this video folder that we have. 
then we're going to run the sync command this is going to upload or sync our local videos to our mux account and the second step is to use this video component from next video to render our video so let's just do that i'm going to open up my local files here you won't be able to see that window because i'm not recording that screen unfortunately but i'm just dragging a video file into this videos folder you can see the sample.mp4 is now inside of my videos folder now the next step is to actually run this npx next video sync command or the sync command so i'm going to copy this and run this sync command what this is going to do is it's going to look inside of your videos folder and it's going to sync or upload any new videos that you have added to this folder to your mox account now this videos folder also has a git ignore file inside of it so this sample video is not going to be uh, committed to our git repository now once this is done you can see that it has created this sample mp4.json so as you can see here the status is ready this is showing us that this is now synced with our mox account we're going to go to our mox dashboard and see this uh, from there as well so that was the first step let me just close all of this clear this out and pm pm dev we should now have our project back up on localhost 3000 and now that we have here we can go ahead and add this video component from next video to our home page so let's go to our page and down here i'm going to add another div with a margin top of eight and inside of it i'm going to bring this video component from next video and then here we need to pass in a source so let's leave that source and then we can import the source just like any static image that we import in our next.js app using the next image component we're going to do the same thing with our videos here so from i'm going to go to my videos folder and here i should have this sample.mp4 again there's two files there the json file is what the next video component is creating when, once it is syncing it with your mox account so we're going to bring in the mp4 um, video over here just like images again very similar to the next image component so now with this if i go ahead to my application i immediately see the neck uh, this video component and if i play it it plays the video up i have the preview thumbnails and then different qualities for the video I can change the speed and all the regular controllers that you would expect from a video player i can also customize these controls to use um, my specific accent colors that matches uh, this text color that i have on my heading by passing in the accent color you can also pass in uh, different classes just like any other component to this for example i can pass in a maxed width of let's say 50 viewport width to make this a bit smaller just like any other component now our sample video here was very short and small in size so it didn't take that long for it to upload to mox but if you have a longer video it is going to take up some time for it to sync and be ready for you to serve up from your application now in the meantime next video component is going to actually use the video file inside of your local videos folder while the syncing is happening and once this is uploaded and ready to use it is going to then use the optimized version from mox now again as a reminder this local video files are not going to be committed to your git repository and it only works or is only used uh, during the local development or when the local development server is running and that's how easy you can add and render optimized videos from inside your next.js app all you need to do to add a video is now to drag and drop that video file inside of your videos folder you then need to run the sync command or you can alternatively add the sync command to your next dev script here so you can add the npx next video sync dash watch so it watches this videos folder anytime the local development server is running so as soon as you drop in a file it automatically starts syncing it with your mox account without ha you having to run the sync command once this is syncing you can just come back into your page and use the video component import your video file like your static images that you use with the next image component and pass it to your source 
if the video is not ready next video component is going to use the local version or the local file and once it is ready or once the app is deployed is going to use the hosted optimized version of your video now going back to the documentation as i mentioned you can also serve up remote files now for example if you have stored your videos or your files into an s3 bucket you can just import it like so inside of your application and then refresh the page this is going to create a json file inside of your videos folder and start syncing this up or uploading this to your mox account now you can also use custom players so if you don't like the mox video player you can use any other player for example here they have used the react player you can pass it to the as prop of this video component and pass in any other custom uh, video player that you have now as far as processing providers or hosting provider for your videos as i mentioned the video component defaults to use mux but you can use other providers you can pass the provider that you want to use and a list of the supported ones are down here to your next config so when you are actually initializing your with next video inside your next config you can pass in a provider and any option that you need to pass in there if you want to use a different provider there's going to be more coming in the future if you don't like to use mux and there you have it this is the easiest way to render optimized videos from your Next.js application i really like this initiative there's actually an rfc open on the Next.js repository from the mux team to integrate this next video component into Next.js. so the future versions of Next.js is going to have this next video component something very similar to next image component that would help us serve and render optimized video components preventing the layout shift that's common when you're serving up images or videos so if you have any questions hit me up in the comments like always i hope you learned something from this video and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye